this it is then. Can you hear that? What? No? Exactly. The great outdoors. You know, no matter how tough life may get from time to time, you'll always be able to escape in nature. Took a hard line, it's just me I guess Of course I've never been wrong We know far one in hemophiliacs In an underdog's holes again Trying not to smile while I'm hiding all the shit in my teeth Dad! Dad! Say you're writing songs about the things that were running through your mind but you're running out of time to make sense of all the asinine rumblings you've la di da di di la di da di di Say you're writing songs about the things that were running through your mind But you're running out of time to make sense of all the asinine rumblings you find There are over 60 different species of them, almost more than in all the rest of the world put together. This is a panther chameleon, and it's marvelously adapted for life among the branches. Hello? Hello? Hi, I'm, hello. Hi, I'm looking for the family that used to live here. I've just moved in down the road. Yeah, they died. They died a while ago. Francis. Yeah. It is you. It's Becky. We used to play out every summer. No, it's not Francis, it's Steve. Go away. Sorry. What? Francis!
Yeah. Francis. I know it's you. What do you want? You can't hide from me forever. I live down the road now. Nobody's actually seen you for years. Are you all right? Come to the back door. How are you? Cold. I can't let you in. Why not? Last I heard you was working at this big dick law firm. What happened there? Well, I was, but I got laid off. But is that a reason not to let me in? No. Well, I'm working at my auntie's bookshop until I find my feet. Is that the one with the moustache? Good old auntie Tom Selleck, yeah. I've got to go now, actually, because I've got work, so... But I'll come back later. Um, okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright then. See you later. Bye. He's back. Seems like the first person in years he wants to talk to me. She's actually grown up to be quite an attractive lady. Anyway, she's uh, she's coming over in a bit, so don't cock this up for me, okay? She's here. Hello? It's me. Okay. Are you going to let me in? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Really the way? Okay. Wow. So many memories of this house. I used to love it when we used to make forts. Do you remember the time you, we had that water fight and you smashed your head open? <laughs> yeah, I've still got the scar. It's quite deep actually. I've got loads of good memories. Build a fort now, you know. Now. Yeah. Build a fort. <laughs> you joking? No. So, if you could be any animal, what would you be? Chameleon. That was fast. Didn't expect you to answer as quickly. People normally have to think about it for a while. I've had a lot of time to think about it. Why chameleon? 
Well, they blend into the surroundings perfectly, so predators can't find them. It's kind of how I felt at school, just blending in, no one noticed me. How come I haven't seen you in so long? I remember when your dad died. Like, just stopped seeing you around and... I don't know, it was just like you just disappeared? Did you move or...? No, I've just been here. My, my auntie moved in when he died. Um, she took care of me. Didn't mind me not going to school, so I just stayed at home and then... The world just got a bit smaller and it seemed really scary to me. And then she left five years ago and just haven't left. Just been indoors. In here? Mm-hmm. For this whole time? Yeah. What do you do about food? Shop online. What if they get your order wrong? I'd have to grin and bear it, really. What if the eggs are broken when they get here? Just complain. <laughs> So you've not left the house for anything in mm. five years? It's longer than that, but yeah. Well, I'm back now. So maybe, I don't know, maybe like, I could, we could hang out or we could be social and Maybe, I don't know, we would try and leave the house. Okay, maybe. Cool. I brought someone to see you. It's not a big deal. But I just thought that it might be good to talk to somebody about. Is he a therapist? Well, yeah. What are you doing? You can't just invite someone to my house, I don't know. I invited you in because I trusted you. Yeah, but you wouldn't let me in at first, and now look where we are, it's fine. But I don't know who he is. You... We were supposed to be spending the day together and you've invited some tall, weird looking guy that I don't know. He's not a criminal, he's just here to help. I don't need help. You do need help. Oh, I don't. Yes, you do. We've been like months now. Just I've just been coming in and out of the house. You've not been leaving the house. It's not normal. I understand that you there's it's a problem that is bigger than you, but and it's bigger than me. And it's some that's why I've brought him because he, you just need help. You just need somebody to talk to about it who is professional. So what, you don't want to see me if you can't go outdoors? Of course I want to see you still. But wouldn't it be nice if we could go outdoors? Yes, it would, because then we could go and see things or we could go to the cinema or I wouldn't have to bring food or the shopping or you could come with me and you could go travelling, which is actually what you've always wanted to do but which you'll never get to do if you don't ever leave at the house. None of those things are ever going to happen if you don't leave the house. I don't think I can. Well, I think you need to talk to him and then it might become possible. Well, we can't spend the rest of our lives indoors.
So you say you won't talk to him? Yeah, what are you doing? What do you mean? You... I came in with Becky. Yeah, why are you still here? Well, I, I went to the kitchen and I fancied some milk. You took Becky out and then I was still in the kitchen and then you sat down and then I sat down and then... Why? Well, Becky thinks that I could help you. Okay. I think I can. Yeah. How? Well, I'm a therapist. I mean, I'm not... Technically, a, a therapist, you know, I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist or anything, but yeah, although I have noticed about the term therapist, if you put a space between the E and the R, the, the rape, the rapist, yeah. what does that tell you? Is that supposed to help me? I think it could help you, you know, you just keep an eye out whenever you meet a therapist because you never know. Because the rapist is like they're the definitive. Just be careful. But I'm not a therapist, so nothing to worry about here. Full on consensual. No, this is uh, this is how I can help you. Oh. What do you think? You think that can help me? Yeah, I mean, it helps me. Helps Becky. Um, helps. I don't know. I think there's like uh, four. Six, pick seven, seven people who have had like a bad reaction to this, but that, to be honest, they have pre-existing conditions and, you know, they shouldn't have been doing it in the first place, so that's kind of their fault. How much do you recommend I take? Have you done anything like this before? Or, okay, um, one of those, one of those, two of those, one of those, and two or three of those, depending on how you're feeling after having that one, that one, that one. Is it safe? <laughs> Is it safe? I am the rapist. I am the rapist. The the rapist. The rapist. The the ra the rapist. I can't put my arm down. I can't put my arm down. Should I put it to put my arm down? It's like a hammer. It's like a sledgehammer. <laughs> like a sledgehammer. I could probably knock down walls if I wanted to. Oh god! I really need to see that now. I just farted. Farted. I really need to see it now. Why are the walls yellow? Why are the walls yellow? Why are the walls yellow? I really need to watch Phantom Menace now. Oh, okay. You know, Phantom Menace is actually probably the best one. Do you think if you wear tight, really tight clothes, and there's no way for water to get out or air or anything like that, you just suddenly get bigger and bigger because of all the water, and then if something popped it, there'd just be sweat everywhere. Do you think that's possible? That's that's why, that's why. why have you got breathing there? Did you fall over? I fell over yesterday. I'm falling over now. I think I've fallen over. Oh, I believe it is. You have to not to do with this, can you? Why are you slippery? What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm off. Why? <coughs> oh. Is that supposed to help me? Didn't it? 
You look like you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. So you're fine now. Like, you know, you were all like, oh, yay, walls. Don't mind these now. I'm all right. I didn't mind them before. I don't mind being indoors. I'm scared of outdoors. What? Why? It's really nice outdoors. So much space. I mean, I can understand claustrophobia because, you know, there's walls closing in you all the time and, you know, if there was an earthquake or something, you'd just be trapped and it'd be horrible. But outdoors, great. So much wide open space, you know, it goes on forever. And, you know, there's people all around you all the time saying hello and, you know, it's much better than being indoors. Indoors is shit. Come on, just... It's really nice. Why not? You just do that. Can you not do that? Why not? What's wrong with you? You just... It's that easy. Have you never done this before? Surely if someone just picked you up and threw you out there, you'd be fine. Well, let's... Hang on, let me just try it. Outside. No. What's wrong with you? Just... I don't want to. Why not? Because I'm scared. For fuck's sake. I'm scared of my mum, but I still see her every week. What? Oh. Whatever. All right, see you later. No matter how tough life may get from time to time, you'll always be able to escape in nature. 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 Francis. What are you wearing? What is this? It's a building site mask. Stops bad particles getting in your lungs. I'll come and see you. So, do you realise where you are? It's a bookshop, isn't it? It's a bookshop on the high street. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's at least a 20 minute walk from your house in the outside world. Yeah. What, you're leaving the house now? Um, I was just wondering if you maybe wanted to go travelling with me. <laughs> I'm so glad you did this for yourself. I did this for you. <laughs> and for Cambodia. <laughs> All the Cambodians. You know me so, you can't just say bizarre. You never get a moment for free. Show me something fun on your guitar. Something with an A or a G. Just be sure that I can tell it. Just be sure that I can Most guitars are made of trees With some metal for the strings And some frets and two neat things Most guitars are made of trees Most guitars are made of trees People play them while they sing Some are dull and some just ring Most guitars
charge 